Holy Wiremod here with tutorial 25b in the Expression 2 series where we're going to be taking a look at 3x3 matrices, which is very similar to 2x2 two two matrix. So let's start by defining it right here. So we say matrix instead of matrix 2. And we'll say matrix is equal to the identity matrix, which is going to have the ones if you recall that. So let's print out matrix and recall it's going to be 3x3, three three, so we're getting nine numbers here instead of four. All right, so the format of this is we have row one, row two, and row three. Okay, so this is part of column one, this is column two then, and this is column three. Okay, for those curious, so let's get into adding or getting a zero matrix first. So do this, type matrix. Now if we want to get some values inside, let's just type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we have some values in there. Of course, you can also put it like the two by two into vector format as such. Now when using just matrix and doing this, it's not going to preserve the same order as you have it labeled out here, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Instead, it's going to be jumbling everything up to where it says 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9. That's because it's just mixing up the rows and the columns, essentially. So to preserve that, just put row matrix instead, and now it will have the preserved order that you have. Okay, so let's say that we want to swap rows. So we can do that by saying matrix is equal to matrix and then we're going to swap rows let's swap rows one and two so as you can see now we have rows one and two swapped up now let's swap the columns instead of the rows so we'll swap one and three just to show you, you can do that as well and there you go now let's preserve the order so we're back at one two three four five six seven eight nine and we're going to set row number one to value of 333. Three, three. Okay, so we're setting the row, there we go. If we want to set the column instead of the row, we can do that as well. And now it says 333 three, three, right there. Now, what if we want to get the reference frame matrix from an entity's local direction vectors by columns in order of x, y, z? Well, we can do that. Let's just say the matrix is going to equal the matrix and we'll get the owner stuff, or the owner's information, how about that? So keep it easier. So if I change the angle which I'm looking at, notice it's getting everything involving my reference frame and direction vectors and whatnot. So now let's say we want to do it by their angle instead of the reference frame. So to do that, we just put the angles of the owner here, if you want the example. Uh, so we do that, and as you can see, as I turn, and update the chip, those values again are updating as such. Okay, so we can also translate a matrix to an angle too, which is pretty fun. So let's say that we get rid of this and then we're going to put two angle. We're going to output that angle and there we go. Now if you want to get the x, y, and z values for the, um, the vectors in the 3x3 three three matrix, you can type it like this. So we have the x, which remember we replaced and set to 333. Then we have the y. And lastly, of course, we have the z. OK, so that's going to conclude everything for the 3x3 matrix. I'm going to be going into 4x4 in the next video with a little bit more detailed matrices and kind of get you guys um, ready to master this topic. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave some in the comments below. And as always, if you like the content, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.